Please Bring Balloons by Lindsay Ward. It appeared unexpectedly, peeking out of the polar bear's saddle, a hint of paper. Please bring. Irma carefully folded the note into her pocket. She'd never heard of polar bears writing notes or asking for balloons, but she decided to play along, just in case. The next morning, Emma stopped by the carousel on her way to school and tied a single balloon to the polar bear's saddle. I hope you like red, she whispered, and for just a second, Emma thought she saw him smile. When Emma went back to the carousel that afternoon, the red balloon was still there, with something tied to it. Hmm, she thought, this must be important. Please bring more. After Emma had tied the last string, she hopped up onto the polar bear's saddle to wait. At first, nothing happened, but then, slowly, the polar bear began to move. As they started to lift off the ground, Emma wrapped her arms tight around the polar bear's neck, and up they went. They flew higher and higher, a girl, a polar bear, and a cloud of brightly colored balloons. Emma pointed to her house, small and glowing, as they drifted above it. Farther and farther they went toward the North Star. As the wind began to blow stronger and colder, Emma snuggled her face into the polar bear's fur until everything below disappeared. They landed with a quiet thud. Emma slid down his back, sinking into the snow. She had never seen anything like it. But before Emma could say anything, the polar bear set off north, his paws crunching with each step. Where are we going? Emma asked as she trailed after him. The polar bear was quiet. They floated on icebergs, scaled icy mountains, and trudged through knee-deep snow. Emma was thankful she had worn her boots. And Emma gazed with absolute wonder. It was a polar bear rumpus! The bears! Emma and the polar bear danced and danced. It was after midnight when the sky opened with snow, each flake lightly kissing Emma's nose as it fell. It had been a perfect adventure. Emma and the polar bear waved goodbye as the icebergs slid into the night. Emma slept on the polar bear's back as they floated home, and it didn't even wake up when he tucked her into bed. The next morning, Emma went to the carousel to find everything as it always was. No sign of any balloons. Even if it wasn't real, it was the best adventure I've ever had, Emma whispered as she hugged the polar bear. And there, tucked in his saddle, was another note. Please bring a bike. Love, PB.